that may have been the worst win of all time. So the Houston Texans, they beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I'm gonna tell you, when I do these videos, this is raw, this is the motion. This is what comes for me after watching or just, you know, looking into the game. Couple, I'm gonna give you the pros first. I'm gonna give you the happy stuff because last week was all negative. CJ Stroud, he's the guy. Like he was 2740, he had over 300 yards. He, he played a good game. Nico Collins, he's amazing. He's a top five receiver in my mind. He leads the league in receiving yards by a healthy margin. He is that guy. People, you know, I think CJ before said he was like Andre Johnson-esque. He, he has the build of it too. Like Nico Collins is definitely a guy that I believe is a top five guy. Here's my problems, man. The Jacksonville Jaguars, even though they are in the division, they're 0-3. They're not a good team. So the fact that we're hanging around with them and then we, you know, we got the deficit and we're so undisciplined. It's just the thing about the reason why I'm so pissed with the Texans often is that this Texan team is just like all the other pretty good Texan teams in the past. They play down to competition when they play bad teams. You know, they'll beat them, but then they face good competition and they get outclassed. That is why the first couple of weeks of the season, I didn't throw a party when we won because it was like those wins are mediocre wins. Like you beat the Colts, you beat the Bears. Cool. Okay, you face a good Vikings team. What do you do? You get destroyed. You are supposed to be talented yourself. You are supposed to be a good, like you have CJ Stroud, Nico Collins, you know, Tank Dell didn't play today, but Stefan Diggs, Dalton Schultz, your know, defense has talent. So the undisciplined play that y'all have, just Laramie Tunsil and the offensive line did not play well today. They did not have a good game. I think Laramie Tunsil has the most penalties in the first three or four weeks of any player since 2000. I saw that stat, that's insane. But he wanted, he didn't want to take accountability last week, but that is insane, an insane statistic. It's an undisciplined team. And when you play undisciplined football and you play just football where you're just not playing up to the potential that exists, sure, you could beat the 0-3 Jacksonville Jaguars. Congratulations on that. You face a great Buffalo Bills team next week. Your schedule don't get easier. Like you facing some pretty tough teams as the season progresses. And at the end of the season, you facing the Chiefs and you facing the Ravens, you facing really good teams. If you keep playing this type of undisciplined football, you're not going to make it. I don't care about just winning the division. I care about winning the whole thing. You win the division, it's pretty likely. You're three and one. The Colts are two and two, but the Titans and the Jags are pretty out. They're, they're not they're not a part of this. So it's really the Colts. And the Colts, you know, Joe Flacco, he's a pretty good backup. He'll probably do his thing. But I see you winning the division, but you winning the division as a three seed and a four seed, and then maybe win the first round matchup in you know Houston. You're gonna have the first game of the weekend, right? Your game's gonna be the very as on NBC or ESPN. It'll be the first game every time. Like I've seen this script already. You go to the second round, say you win that game, and then you lose. I don't care about that. What I want to see is I want to see this team have a shot to go to the Super Bowl. The NFL is pretty open. The Chiefs. They're still really good, but they got a lot of injuries and they're not really like as scary as they were in the past. You know, Buffalo's playing good ball. The Ravens, they like to choke games. Like you have a path there. If you were out here playing some good football, you would be the team to beat. This would be your season that you really had a shot, but I'm looking at you guys and you play so undisciplined and it's just, un it's infuriating. And that, you know, my man, uh, Joe Mixon, I need you to come back. Cause that running game throughout this game, bro, was really killing me. And that was killing me last year. Bobby Slogan liked to run and like almost, it's almost like you're not even trying on first down. It's really, it mentally is very infuriating. Houston, good win. That don't mean none to me at this point. It don't mean nothing to me. You need to lock in for Buffalo. Jacksonville, you're out the way. The Colts, they were there around you, Tennessee out the way. You can't keep playing like this because if you keep playing like this, we're just going to, I'm going to tell you, you're not going to the Super Bowl. I don't want to hear no one say, man, this year we're going to, I don't want to hear that. We're three and one. Congratulations for being three and one. But three and one don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing at the end of the day. I want to be in the AFC championship game. We're the only team in the history of the NFL not to make the conference championship. The only team. And well, yeah, we're a new team. Cool. But we're the only team, every team in our division has made the conference championship within the last 10 years. We're not. And we're the ones that win the division all the time. It don't matter. This all winning your division and you know winning 10 games and doing all that, that don't matter to me at all. What matters is what do you do in the playoffs? What do you do when you face elite competition? If you play the Buffalo Bills and you lose by 30 points, if you lose by 20 points, if you or if you just play just undisciplined, like if you if you go out play Buffalo and it's a close game and you win or you lose cool right even if you lose will i be upset yeah sure you know i'll be upset but even though i'll be upset at least you played competitive 
You play Buffalo and they're blowing you out or he's not even close or you want one of them stupid late comebacks that don't work. We're not going to win anything. I'm just going to watch these games and I'll be like, okay, cool win, cool loss, cool win, cool loss, 10 wins. Okay, second round exit. That's what I'm going to think. Something has to change, right? And um, Steven Sims, I had a, the, another thing. Steven Sims, um, we kept you over Noah Brown. I don't know if that's looking good. That's not looking good. You know, special teams, we got no special team disasters like that. And he, you had some. So, you know, he may get cut. He may get cut because we ain't got time for that. These NFL games, bro, we can't be losing NFL games to, or almost losing NFL games to bad teams. I understand. Hey, I wouldn't be upset about this win if we had a complete football game anytime during the season. But the first four weeks, we had some incomplete football. Good news is you're three and one. You, you finished your September. You played uninspiring football. You got a lot of Texans fans pissed, but you're three and one. You have a good record. Your you know division it looks like it's going to be yours. It may not be. I don't know because you know things can happen. But so far so right now you're very much the favorites to win the division. But now we get into some tough matchups. I'm gonna need y'all to come in here and I'm gonna need y'all to lock in. In October, I need to see some good football. I, I don't need to see no you play some Buffalo, the Patriots. I know you play the Jets. I forgot who else you playing. I need to see some good football. Y'all, y'all don't 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 come on the press conference and say, oh man, we gotta clean up the penalties. I don't want to hear that. I don't. I don't care to hear about that at all. I need you to do it. I'm a man of action. I don't want you saying, yeah, man, we got to clean this up. We got to be better here, better there, and then do the same thing the next week. It is the most infuriating thing ever. I need you to take action. If you cut these penalties down, you have a better shot of winning these games very easily. It's these penalties. We lead the league in false starts. It is the most brain-dead penalty, and it will destroy a drive. I hate that penalty so much. We lead the league in it. We don't have time for that this year, right? You need to clean that up. Because if you don't clean that up, we're not, I'm going to tell you right now. No Super Bowl. If you're a Texan fan, you watching this, I've been telling you from the start, I'm not jumping on the, I'm not just like, yeah, we're going all the way. No, 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 no. They need to prove it to me first. And so far, they have not. So there's still a lot of season left. You have a winning record. Your BS football, the BS brand of football that you're playing, you have still been able to coast to a 3 and one record. But as the season progresses, you won't be able to do that. Injuries pile up, so coaching has to get better. And then you got in that discipline aspect's a big part of it. So we're going to see what happens. If you're a Texan fan, if you're happy about the win, comment down below. If you're sad about the win, comment down below. <laughs> you know, obviously not sad about the win, but you might be sad on this in the style of winning. A three and one. But, but we are a long way from the Super Bowl. So we'll see if these boys lock up, lock in, and try to get this fixed. Or we'll see if we get absolutely annihilated next week against Buffalo. Either or. Still gonna rep the team, put out these videos. If you like them, make sure to like this video. Uh, make sure to comment down below. Want to hear your thoughts? And yeah, man, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.